This is the end zone. Let's move the chains and talk about the college football playoffs. As the college football season is right around the corner. We've got games coming up this Thursday, depending on when you are watching. But let's talk college football playoffs. Now, before we get into it, I want to know your top four teams that will make it to the college football playoffs. Put your predictions down below. I'll make sure to look at those and make some of your cases for those teams. You know, why you think that they're capable of making the playoffs. Now, this year is going to be different because... You know, with COVID-19, treating it like injuries, a lot of teams are probably going to lose vital players during the season, which stinks, but that's just how it is. So with that being said, let's start off. And at number one, the number one team that I have in, and the neck and neck between number two, I mean, it's very close, number one, number two, but I have Clemson, and Clemson in the regular season plays Notre Dame, who's going to be tricky. They're a solid, solid football team, but I expect them to beat Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish. Then you got an interesting game versus Miami. Now, not a lot of people are talking about De'Eric King. I think that he is going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the country this year, and he could be very dangerous against a Clemson team. And I don't know that Miami can necessarily win the game, but they could put on on a scare and then the last three games of the regular season they pick up FSU Pitt and Virginia Tech we might get one little trip up or scare in that three game stretch and at the end of the season I predict that they will play in the ACC championship versus Notre Dame winning again Number two, I have Alabama. Now, Alabama's schedule sets up pretty nicely, to be honest. I mean, the SEC, a lot of teams, I feel like, are taking a step back. Now, Alabama plays A&M, which I just don't buy. I don't buy Kellen Mond. I haven't really seen anything that I really like from Texas A&M. Sorry if you're an A&M fan. Same goes with Georgia. I know that there's a lot of hype around that Georgia game, but what are they on offense? Yeah, I'm not really high on Jamie Newman. They lost Jamie Newman. A lot of people thought that he would be a starter. JT Daniels still struggling with injuries. What are we going to get at quarterback? Are we going to get a pro-style offense, or are we going to get a mobile quarterback offense? You know, I just don't know what to get from Georgia. You got Tennessee. That's an improving team, and I think that that Alabama could very possibly get scared with this game. You know, it's a rivalry game coming near the end of the season. You got LSU, who's basically lost everything and finally Auburn and Auburn is Auburn you know how lucky can they get that's basically been the testament of the Iron Bowl for the past couple of years how lucky can Auburn get against the Alabama Crimson Tide I don't think they can do it this year and number three from the Big 12 I have Oklahoma now, Oklahoma is a pretty decent schedule to play Iowa State and Brock Purdy that's a scary program to play last year they didn't maybe get as many wins as they wanted but they came up short in a lot of games and Brock Purdy is Brock Purdy Texas not really much to be said about this how important this game is with Sam Ellinger he's got a lot to prove and uh, I mean that game you know I'm going to be watching that that'll be interesting TCU can always count on having a strong defense And then Oklahoma State loaded on offense with Wallace, Sanders, and Hubbard, that wide receiver quarterback and running back triple threat. That'll be interesting to watch this year, not going to lie. And then Baylor, I don't really know what to expect from Baylor this year, but they were good last year. Now for number four, I have three teams that I think are kind of contending for this spot. And Georgia could have been my fourth, but I'm not really a huge believer in the Georgia Bulldogs this year. They might prove me wrong. Hey, I'm all for it. If you can upset Alabama, go ahead and do it. Now, the first team I have on here is Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, as I mentioned, super strong offense. You know, they're just going to have to beat a lot of these teams like Oklahoma and Texas. I don't know that I see them getting out of this schedule. Iowa State, Baylor, TCU with only one or zero losses. Also, they play in the Big 12 Championship considering uh, they have to play Oklahoma again. That could be interesting to see. Two strong teams, of course, that will probably play twice. We see that in the ACC. But honestly, I could see Oklahoma State pulling off an upset against Oklahoma in either the Big 12 championship or in the regular season. We'll see how that goes. Then you have Notre Dame, a team that really lucked out this offseason with COVID-19 because their schedule got drastically easier. They lost a lot of their competition. They really only play Clemson and North Carolina. Now, Assuming that they get to the ACC championship, they win one of those games and run the table, uh, they'll probably play Clemson again. I don't see them beating Clemson once this season. I mean, uh, they're a strong team, but offensively, they lost a ton, especially at the skill position. 
And then North Carolina could be a dangerous game. Although North Carolina really isn't yet there, in my opinion. A lot of people are jumping on the North Carolina bandwagon saying they can make the playoffs. I'm pumping the brakes a little bit on the Tar Heels. Another seemingly dangerous team that I don't have on this graphic is Louisville. Eight wins last year, and they're really improving offensively. They're just very small and undersized, and I feel that Notre Dame can handle them. They actually played last year, and Notre Dame was able to do so. And then Florida, they have A&M, UGA, LSU, Kentucky, and Tennessee. I think that Kentucky and Tennessee could be really tricky. You always got to watch out for LSU, but again, LSU lost so many players. A lot of questions around A&M and UGA. You know how I feel about them. SEC Championship against Alabama, you know, they could possibly win that game, pull off an upset, or who knows if they run the table. Maybe they're the favorite team if Alabama slips up during the regular season. But they do not play Alabama, and that's kind of the team that I think uh, is different from all the other teams. You know, Notre Dame and Oklahoma State, Notre Dame plays Clemson, we'll have to probably play them twice. Oklahoma State plays Oklahoma, probably have to play them twice. Florida doesn't draw Alabama in the different divisions, they'll probably meet in the SEC Championship. You know, that will be an interesting game. Definitely an interesting matchup. And I'd love to know what you think down below. I have Florida in at my number four spot, barely creeping into the college football playoffs. Again, I'd love to know your opinion. How does your college football playoff scenario look? Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment as always so we can move the chains.